Hi, it's Bonnie from Whistle Stop Clay Works, and today we are going to have a tutorial on how to make a sea serpent or a dragon. Um, here is an example of one that is finished. So, um, if you remember Mari Brock's first tutorial on coil pots, that's what this dragon body is, is sort of just one thick coil. So I'm gonna take some clay, I'm gonna kind of break off about how much I think I'm gonna need. I'm gonna kind of form it into a hot dog. And I don't want these coils to get too thin. When you're making a coil pot, you want your coils to be about as big around as your pinky. That would make a really skinny, super breaky um, sea serpent. So we're gonna just roll this out. We're gonna kind of fan our fingers out apply even pressure. If you find that it starts getting a little squarish or not round, you can kind of just take your fingers and um, reform it a little bit. That will help. And then if you'll notice on this sea serpent, both of these ends are a little bit tapered. So how you do that is once you get it about as thick around as you want it, then you can kind of just focus your rolling on just the end and just give it a little gentle pressure, sort of only on the end. And you can kind of get that end to taper a little. Same way with this end. This is gonna be the tail end, this will be the head end. So I don't want the head end to be quite as tapered as the tail, maybe just a little bit. Kind of form it. If it starts to crack, you can kind of just take a little bit of slip and apply just a little bit of slip to keep it hydrated. All right, so now I have my coil about how I want it. So I'm going to start with my head. I'm going to kind of pinch it so that I can kind of get the head shape that I want. I'm going to kind of press here. I'm going to support this and then I'm going to grab it about equidistant here and I'm just going to kind of fold this and bend this up. Then I'm going to kind of pinch this Hold this steady, kind of tap it here. Then I'm gonna pinch this down, pinch this up, hold it here, and then just kind of. So we've got a decent amount of cracking here. We're not gonna panic about that too much. We'll put a little slip on there. We're gonna kind of smooth that out. And then we're gonna need to score and slip in between these bits because you can see they're really not actually attached at all. So since we don't have a lot of space in here, I think I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to kind of scratch here, scratch here, get my paintbrush, put a little bit of slip in here, and then I'm going to re-push this together and really attach it. And I'm going to lay my little guy down. I'm going to open this up here. Again, I'm going to slip and score in here, which I'll turn it so you can see what I'm doing. Score in here, get a little bit of slip, attach that, and again in here also, scoring, scoring, vinegaring, and then really push them together. And now, I'm gonna kind of pick him up, tap him, so he can kind of stand up all by himself. Then you're gonna to wanna to make the mouth. I usually just take this knife, support the sides of his head, and just come in here, and then support this. And you can kind of open that up, and you've got a little mouth for him. So you could, if you wanted to add eyeballs like I did on here, those are just two little circles that we slipped and scored on there. You could also just poke some eyeballs in here. You could see how that looks. I don't think I like it very much. So I'm gonna make little eyeballs. Since I have those little holes, 
what I can do is I can form an eyeball like this, kind of a teardrop shaped eyeball. And I can take that teardrop bit and stuff it in that little hole and that will make it so my eyeball stays on there pretty well. Take a little flip, put it in that little socket bit, and then you can take this, push it right on there, do it on the other side. So now you have eyeballs that are pretty much the same and they're really stuck in his head pretty well. You can also add little spines. You could either do a little triangles like this guy has, or you could make them a little more fearsome and kind of roll a little cone and then these could get stuck on your on your sea serpent. You could make little horns, you could make little spikes that go all the way down his back. Um, so you can have fun with this. You can add lots of little details. This little guy has a crown. Um, you could do that. I think horns might be nice too. So um, in conclusion, enjoy. Add a little, add some little details to your friend here and um, have a good time. Thanks for watching.